Good morning everyone, how's it going today? I just wanted to do a quick video on a position I just started and it's in a stock called Energist, ticker symbol W-A-T-T. They've been on my watch list for a couple of months now and it looks like it's beginning to gather steam and could be starting a move higher soon, so I took a starter position. In this video I'll explain why I took this position and why I think this stock has great long-term potential. Okay, first I'll give you a brief overview of the company and then a rundown on their technology that, if it ever came to fruition, will be an absolute game changer. Now, Energist is a Fabulous semiconductor company, and Fabulous, all that means is Energist designs and sells their hardware, but outsource their fabrication or manufacturing to countries like China because of the lower costs, so they can concentrate more of their resources on things like research and development. Now, Energist calls this technology what up? And that's their RF-based or radio frequency-based wireless charging technology. This technology consists of the chipsets, the software controls, hardware designs, and antennas. So they are attempting to develop the complete solution for wireless charging. Right now, we're at the very beginning of the shift to wireless charging. And this is how most of our electronics are going to be charged in the future, whether it's using the Watt-Up technology or someone else's. Now here's where we are currently with wireless technology and you might even own one of these today. Now this is the first generation of this technology so there's a lot of room for improvement. Right now you can't charge at a meaningful distance, you need a flat surface, you can only charge one device at a time, and still the only main device that people use this for is their smartphones. Now Energist is trying to develop the next generation in this wireless technology and like I said before, this will be a game changer for them if they can pull it off. This technology is RF based and that gives them these advantages. It allows for near field and at a distance charging. Its flexible antenna design allows for a smaller footprint and support for curved non-flat surfaces. And the use of a universal transmitter that would support a variety of devices and allow simultaneous charging for multiple devices. So this will truly create the experience of drop and charge convenience. One of the products they're extremely excited about is the Watt Up Power Hub, which they say can charge a device that are placed up to 15 centimeters away. Now I know that's not very far at the moment, but this technology is still being refined and improved upon, and their objective is to one day be the main source of charging in homes, retail stores, and industrial and enterprise buildings as well. Other market opportunities they wish to capitalize on are hearables, wearables, smart glasses, medical sensors, mobile phones, computers, video gaming, and many, many more. Now, as you can see, this opportunity seems enormous and has the potential to make Energist billions of dollars. So the question you need to ask yourself is, why is Energist only a $3 stock? Well, I'm guessing it's because their technology's current capabilities at 15 centimeters isn't very useful at the moment. But to me, it seems like it should be only a matter of time before a breakthrough occurs where they will be able to expand the range to a more meaningful distance. Now, I think it'd be pretty cool to say walk into a Starbucks and as soon as you get in the door, your iPhone or AirPods automatically start charging. Now, I think everyone is going to want these capabilities in their devices and electronics. Now, I looked at a few message boards, and I think one of the other reasons why this stock is only $3 at the moment is I saw a lot of people complaining that they've been promising this technology for quite a while, and I think investors are losing their patience and selling out of the stock. Well, I think another reason it's only a $3 stock is its financials. Now, if you go on their investor page, you can see that they've cherry-picked a few statistics to make it look like it's a rock-solid balance sheet, but if you look at everything, you can see that there is a Definitely room for improvement. Okay, now let's get to the charts. Here I have the daily chart pulled up, and today Watt is trying to break out above the high it made in mid-April, but it's having a hard time of it. Despite its lack of ability to power through the $4 mark, the pattern still looks very constructive and enough for me to take a starter position and then add more if price follows through to the upside. I ended up buying a few hundred shares at $3.76, and I plan on adding more if it breaks above the 420 area and holds it. I just want to point out all of the bullish aspects I see on the chart, and the first thing I like to see is a break above the white line, or the 8 period exponential moving average, and then a hold, and then another move up. Now if you flip through charts, you will see almost every single move up in a stock starts with this exact combination. 
Not every single move is a huge move, but you will see that almost every single big move does start this way. So that checks box number one. The second thing I see is if you back the chart out a little further, it's forming a very nice looking rounding bottom. Price has jumped above all the moving averages on the chart and they're all trending up as well except for the 200 day moving average, but that should turn up soon. The chart itself looks very constructive for a move up any time now. Now I'll flip over to the weekly chart and I like this chart even better. Price is broken above the 8 period exponential moving average or the white line on the chart and is following it up nicely. So this pattern has the potential to explode higher if enough buying comes in. And the big green volume bars means it's definitely been under accumulation lately. Now perhaps with all this volume coming in, maybe there's going to be news coming out soon and it's being bought up before it gets announced, but who knows. But another question I keep asking myself is, if they're that close to a game-changing technology and the share price is this cheap, why haven't they been bought out yet by one of the big tech giants? It seems like if Apple bought them out and could put this technology into their devices, that would give them a pretty cool feature other companies don't have. And Apple certainly has the cash laying around to buy them out if they wanted to. So in this final chart, I'll show you what I'm planning slash hoping for. If Watt does get a move up, I would expect heavy resistance in the $6 to $7 area, but it could easily push through that with enough buying pressure. And also, this current move up does look promising, but it hasn't consolidated at this higher level very long, and that does kind of concern me. So I wouldn't be surprised if the breakout fails and price pulls back into the low threes before it runs up. And if it does that, I'll probably will add a little bit more to my position. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end the video right there. If you're already in this stock, please let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Let me know what your plan is or if you just have any other thoughts on what. I'd love to hear from you guys. Please like the video if you found it entertaining for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any more investment ideas I come across. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care everybody.